there Jags, we're out here in the jungle where your Madison Central Jaguars are set to face off against the Germantown Mavericks. Your Jags are coming into this game looking to rekindle their win streak, losing the last two times they've taken the field. However, your opponents are coming in from the opposite end of the spectrum, winning their last three games. We'll see if your Jags can come back and take the W tonight for the home fans. Your Jaguar offense started out the game, and they brought back the inclusion of Jake Norris as quarterback, a trick we saw work so well last season. Norris still excelled in this role, as he scored off a 26-yard rushing touchdown that capped off a two-minute opening drive. In a bid to even out the scoreboard, the Mavericks offense took the field, but your Jags defense forced a punt after a commanding stop. MC's offense got the ball back on their own 16-yard line, and after a scrappy drive that saw them advance into the Maverick territory, Jake Norris ran it into the end zone again for his second score of the first quarter. On the opening drive of the second quarter, Germantown started up a drive and set up their kicker with a 21-yard field goal that appeared to be a chip shot. However, the Mavericks' hopes were swiftly crushed, as DeAndre Pullen blocked the field goal and got his offense the ball back at the 27-yard line. Despite the block, your Jags played into a three and out, but it didn't take long for them to regain possession. Germantown took the field looking to take the top off on a second down and three passing play, but Denon Mitchell was there to pick off the pass in great display of defense. It only took a matter of time for MC to put more points on the board, as they drove down the field and Jake Norris set himself up with his third rushing touchdown, completing his hack trick in only a quarter and a half. And that's where the first half ended, with MC putting their losing skid behind them. Your Jags left the halftime break with the same energy they had before, as it only took one play for them to strike yet again. Germantown looked to move the chains with a rushing play, but a miscued handoff forced a fumble, and Chris Berry was there for the scoop and the score. The game quieted down after that, until your Jaguar offense formed a drive in the late third quarter. After moving down the field with both the air and ground game, Connor Brown capped everything off with a 13-yard touchdown to make the score 35 to nothing. In the fourth quarter, Germantown finally put their first points on the board, scoring a fourth down passing play. However, their point after attempt was also disrupted, putting the score at 35 to six, and it would stay that way until the final horn sounded. Jake Norris had another superb outing, making big plays all game long, and he noted how the squad's unity is what made everything possible. I think we had an amazing week of practice. I think we brought the juice back from last year and the energy and just our gung-ho mentality and just coming off the football, playing our brand. and. We executed, and you know it obviously showed in the game. We executed plays, and we threw the ball well, we ran the ball well, and our defense really executed. This game got your Jags back to their winning ways, and offensive coordinator Dusty Finley explained how this is the way every game going forward needs to be handled. Keep doing what we're doing. Keep playing like we play tonight, because it's who we're supposed to be. It's Madison Central football. Uh, when we play like that, that's who we are, and, and we shouldn't play any different. So just keep doing what we're doing, keep rolling, keep playing with a lot of energy, have some juice. So that's your final. Your Jags pulled out all the stops, beating Germantown 35-6. Your next game will be your homecoming game against Murrah. This has been Annalise Kirk with JNN.